Nottingham is on the brink of a local lockdown after coronavirus cases soared, it is feared. Nottingham City Council said it was expecting the government to introduce tougher rules later this week, similar to those introduced in other cities such as Liverpool, Manchester, and Leeds. The council has asked people in the city to take urgent steps and to not mix indoors with people from other households. Latest data from Public Health England reveals that the city has the sixth highest infection rate in the country after new cases soared sixfold in just a week. There were 1,273 confirmed cases in the seven days to Friday, much more than in many areas currently in local lockdown. And nearby areas have also experienced a jump in their figures in the same period. Broxtow saw its infection rate double, while the infection rate in Gedling, also in Nottinghamshire, quadrupled to 106. 0 per 100,000. Today Nottingham's Director of Public Health, Alison Challenger, said, We are seeing a dramatic increase in COVID-19 cases in Nottingham. Our rate of infection is now rising higher than many other parts of the country. This is a significant and worrying change. It means the measures we currently have in place are no longer enough to stop the spread of the virus in our city. We will have to do more to keep people safe in Nottingham. The 20 places in England with highest infection rates Manchester 529. For cases per 100,000 Knowsley 498.5 Cases per 100,000 Liverpool 487.1 Cases per 100,000 Newcastle upon Tyne Cases per 100,000 Burnley 411 6 cases per 100,000 Nottingham 382.4 cases per 100,000 Leeds 316.8 cases per 100,000 Street Helens 311.8 cases per 100,000 Sefton 307.9 cases per 100,000 Halt and 299.0 cases per 100,000 Preston 294. 8 cases per 100,000 Pendle 294.2 cases per 100,000 Rochdale 287.3 cases per 100,000 Sheffield 286 6 cases per 100,000 Salford 278.2 cases per 100,000 Hydeburn 269.0 cases per 100,000 Exeter 262 5 cases per 100,000 South Tyneside 255.0 cases per 100,000 Sunderland 254.6 cases per 100,000 Berry 253 For cases per 100,000 we would urge people to take action now and not mix indoors with people from other households It remains okay to mix with those in your support bubbles, unless someone has tested positive or has symptoms. We would ask people who have symptoms of COVID-19 high temperature, continuous cough or loss of taste or smell to self-isolate immediately, and book a test by calling 119. And we strongly advise young people, including students in the city, to remain in their social bubbles and not mix in their homes with people from other households. 
A large number of cases have been identified at the University of Nottingham, where there were 425 confirmed cases in the week to Friday. But the public health director said that this was not the sole reason for the jump in new infections. A spokeswoman for the university, which has around 35,000 students, said, Alongside the national pillar 2 testing regime for people with symptoms of COVID-19, the university has also commenced its own asymptomatic testing program, which will identify cases earlier and more quickly. While this will mean that our case data will be higher than other universities, we can identify cases that otherwise would remain undetected and thereby reduce asymptomatic transmission and the number of future cases. Earlier today Mirror Online reported that parts of Nottinghamshire were among the areas expecting new measures to be put in place. Elsewhere Sheffield saw the infection rate rise from 100.9 cases per 100,000 to 286. Six prompting health leaders to say new restrictions are inevitable. Greg Fell, Sheffield's Director of Public Health, told BBC Radio Sheffield this morning, My sense is it's a matter of time, and it's a matter of when, not if. I couldn't judge when, but I sense we'll be in the space that other councils have had an imposed lockdown over the next month. I would be surprised if we last that long.